Hi there, I'm Henry, also known as Music Simplified, and I'm very happy today to be making reviews again, because I started this project a couple of months ago, even half a year ago, and then just other stuff came in and I had to take a break, and you guys have been asking for reviews. And finally, I'm very happy to say that here they come. I'm going to do a whole bunch of them today. They're all going to be reviews about speakers and headphones that are focused only how these things sound and what you will experience as a listener when you have these. Uh, so today I am reviewing the Genelec 8040 and straight away I'm going to tell you this is a do not buy review. I've been a huge fan of Genelec for like years because when I studied at the Academy of Music, these were the speakers that we had there and I always used to look at them and think like, you know, one day, one day, Henry, if life goes really well, you can have these amazing speakers. And then finally, here was the box in front of me. I opened it and, you know, really my heart was racing like crazy. I couldn't even sleep the night before. I opened them, I set them up in my main studio with all the acoustic, acoustic treatment and everything. They were supposed to be the perfect size and boom, it just, it just didn't work. Uh, there are all kinds of buttons behind the speakers where you can, you know, just play with different frequencies and make sure there's like some room correction options and stuff. And just no matter what I did, did I turn the bass down, up, mids, down and up, highs, minus four, minus two to be I just kept on going back to the speakers and just shifting all the settings and it just never freaking worked. And after about 20 minutes later, mm, my ears started hurting from all of this and I don't even listen to music loud. So for me, these speakers, it took me like, I listened to them 30 minutes one day, slept through the night and in the morning I tried again. I went through the same process and it just didn't work again. I tried all of these different options, I tried fitting them to my room, I tried different placements and still after 20 minutes they hurt my ears. Mm. So let's talk about the details. Mm. One thing that I noticed uh, that was very good about those speakers was the separation between instruments. I am a huge fan of separation and there, like when compared to the ch cheaper speakers, and then straight away you could feel that you know if one instrument was like to the right and one was in the middle then there was a very distinct space between the two instruments there uh, so i definitely enjoyed all of the instrument placements in the mix and the way that the speakers separated the instruments um, they are a six and a half or seven inch speakers and for a speaker this size they have a lot of bass and even in my fully treated room, they had a lot of bass. And I mean, for me, it was too much uh, because they are back ported and the port is large. Uh, so the bass was kind of slow compared to what I've had before. Uh, so it had like this, it felt like there was a lot of sob and then the low mids sort of like they were scooped. So what this meant was that the room was filled with a slow hitting sub that was very strong at some parts of the room and at the same time completely diminished at another so very uneven and also as the sub was so omnipresent and the mids were scooped then it also hurt the stereo separation i feel that's now that i think back then i have much more experience than before um, they did have a very full sound meaning that it felt as if you were in a concert hall or in a cinema versus the Adam S2V here or the Adam A7X that I've also had they sound like earphones you know they're very intimate they're extremely precise and every any vocals that come from these speakers um, it's like somebody's whispering into your ear it's very very intimate and personal and these were not that they were always two meters away from you. The music was always away from you. Uh, so 
It was definitely very full. It felt like a single wall of sound coming towards you. It felt powerful, kinda, uh, but it never moved me. Now compared then to the Adam A7X, which is like half the price, then sure, the Adam A7X was like less even and might have like elevated mids and sometimes they were a bit sharp, but they were very engaging. So you could really feel the music and you wanted, you wanted to try more songs, you wanted to explore versus the Genelex, they were just like, you know, this distant kind of look that never touches you. So again, just this wasn't the experience that I was looking for. Um, a good friend of mine who was also into audio listened to these and instantly said that they feel like bigger speakers than they are. It might sound like a cool thing, right? Uh, but it isn't. Because when you're in a home studio, then you want a speaker that sounds like it's fit for the room. Uh, for me, these Genelex felt like they were, they tried to pretend to be something that they just could never be, you know? You don't get the power of a 10 inch cone from a seven inch one, right? Uh, so they felt like pretenders to me. You know, they try to be loud, but they hurt my ears with some frequencies. Uh, they try to be bassy, but the bass was slow. And they try to be big speakers, but I was in a living living room. That's what my studio, my studio was built into a living room. So for me, no matter how I look at it, these speakers are a do not buy. Now, I would consider these speakers, if you're in the price range, I think they cost about $700 each, right? I don't remember exactly. Uh, but if you have a lot bigger room, if your room is a lot bigger than an average living room and you want small speakers in a big room, then you might consider the Genelex. Well, uh, that's my opinion. Like I said, the good thing is if you want, if you enjoy this kind of massive wall of sound, it might be for you. If you enjoy good instrument separation, it might be for you. But no matter how I look at it, I would never buy these speakers. Thank you, and I'll see you at the next review.